What's going on guys? This is another instruction site video. I wanted to put a quick B-roll together showing you guys how I actually capture all my footage when I'm out in the field. I filmed this on a Saturday, so the job site was pretty empty, but this video will cover how I actually shoot my ground and my drone 360s. So I hope you guys stick until the end of this video. So starting with your drone 360s, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your settings. You're gonna go to photo. You're gonna go down where it says panel. You're gonna select that option. And then you're gonna click the shutter and then the drone will start doing its own thing. It will take multiple pictures and then at the end, it will stitch them all together. So once the drone is done taking all the pictures and you're back on your computer, then the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna grab all the pictures out of the SD card Typically what I do is I save them on a folder here on my computer and then I go to instruction site. I click on the PDF where I have all my drone overall pictures, 360 pictures. Then I'm going to zoom in and click at the location where I took that 360 photo. I'm going to click on that pin. I'm going to say add image. Then I'm going to go to my folder and then I'm going to drag and drop the image here. I'm going to say submit and then the 360 photo is there. If I click on it, then I can pan around and then look at my 360 photo. If this is the first time taking pictures at the job site, then what I'll do is come up here to the left. I click on add 360 photo. I'll drop the pin wherever I took that picture. Then I'll go again to the folder, drag and drop, click add. Then the picture will get added. And then I can go to it. And then again, click on the 360 photo. Now that my drone 360s are done, I'm going to go back to the field and show you guys how I do my ground 360 photos. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to make sure that your 360 camera is turned on. Then you're going to go to your instruction site app on your phone. You're going to click on your project. You're going to go to the building that you, the drawings that you already uploaded before you came out to the field. Then you're going to click on that PDF. Then on the bottom, you're going to say connect camera. I'm going to connect the Insta at 1x2. Now it says that it is connected. And if I just want to take a quick 360, then I'll just click on the bottom. And then it just took a 360 photo. Now all these different pins are 360 photos that I've taken on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. So if I just want to add another picture to that same location, I'll just click on the pin. And then down on the bottom right where it says add 360 photo, just click there. And then the camera will take a 360 photo. Then the other thing that you can also do is you can do a 360 walk. So I'm just gonna click on the walk. I'm gonna say select start locations. So we are approximately somewhere over here. I'm gonna click start walk. It'll give you a countdown. And then you just start walking. Now, once you're done with your 360 walk, you're going to say stop walk. Then it's going to stop recording. Then you're going to select the location where you stopped it. So we're approximately somewhere over here. Now, once you're done capturing and you're back on Wi-Fi, you're going to click on the cloud up top on the left and say sync all your 360 photos and all your 360 walks. Pretty much all the data that you capture when you were out here in the field and those you'll be able to see them here on the app on the on your iphone and also you'll be able to see them on the web platform so hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and get a first-hand look of how i capture all my 360 photos with the instruction site app if you want more construction related photos and videos my instagram page is the place to go so thanks for watching and i will see you guys on the next video